Hello then, welcome back to some more Trials of Manor. In the last episode, what we did was we got to Laurent after opening the portal on the Oblivile. Or Oblivile. And now we're going to search for the Wing Defender. Uh, in terms of the sound settings I've done, I've moved myself further from the microphone, which should work. And I've also turned the gain down a little bit. So although you might still hear some peaking occasionally, hopefully it's a lot better than it was before. And so apologies, it's taken 12 episodes for me to sort that out. I might still need to tweak with it a little bit more, but... I've got a whole other session after this one to do, so it should be fine. I'm thinking that I just have to make the sound louder, and you might get more background noise as well, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. This map is Celestial Peak. Also, I'm going to turn Afterburner on, so you'll hear window noise. Windows noise, I guess. There we go. Okay. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Let's do it now, yeah. Let's do it right now. Oh, let's do it right now, oh yeah. Let's do it right now. Gonna make the noises that I wanna make. Gonna do it real quiet. Just to see if it catches it. Okay, right, good, but Let's go. Celestial Peak. As long as I talk at a regular volume and don't raise my voice too loudly, it should be fine. Now, this might sound like I'm in a, you know, like a thousand miles away, which is unfortunate, but I'll take it. Now, the question is, do I remember how to play? The question, well, the answer is, of course, no. But I'll, I'll pick it back up real quick. It's not that complicated. One of the common complaints about this remake is that you hear the same two voice lines over and over again because your characters when you get over 50,000 they just keep talking about how much money they've got and they just do it over and over and over again forever I mean it doesn't really annoy me because I'm used to it I've, I've played games that are much worse offenders than this What I will say is, there's a lot of uh, wiggly, windy, twisty, turny on this map. Which in and of itself isn't so bad, but it makes the map kind of a mess to navigate because it's all wiggly, windy. It doesn't make any real sense. But yeah, if this is, if this is not better, I guess it's the choice between do you either have it peaking and loud? Or not peaking and muffled, or um, more background noise. But I think it should be fine, so I won't talk about it anymore. Once I check these two video recordings that I'm going to do, because I'm going to record two today, I'm going to check them and make sure that I'm happy with the quality before doing another 12 videos like last time, where I thought I'd fixed it and hadn't. I'm going to be much more careful this time, just to make sure that it's actually fixed. And I think we'll still get occasional peaks because of the way the microphone works, which means I could turn the gain down even slightly more and probably get away with it. But I think, you know, it's all relative, isn't it? I'm looking for Cactus Friend. Anyone seen my man the cactus? Thank you for the candy. I appreciate it. Do an air dodge just to get that little bit of extra distance. That took a lot of damage already, turns out. Maybe I was supposed to jump from there. Hmm. Oh well. I didn't, so that's what's going on. I decided that I'd much rather just jump over the gap myself. No, no, don't you hit me. Next. Bonk. I hate to pick on such weak targets. Yes, I would like to get to level 38, please, because then I can get to third class, although I don't know how that really works. Or what I need to make it happen. My guess is that I'm not going to be able to actually do it for a while. Is it over? 
That's disappointing. That's only my guess, though. I wonder what the choices are going to be in terms of class upgrade. We know we've got like Paladin and all that, but what what other choices will I have? Get rid of all that. Bye bye. Okay. Still no sign of Cactus Lord, but that just might mean I missed him rather than he isn't here. And I also don't know, again, because I've never played the game before, how far towards the end of the game I am. I'm guessing I'm like halfway through. Hello there, friend. What's going on, buddy? Oh, that's it. Too small to defend much of anything. Oh, is this one of baby? Hey there. We're trying to get to the sanctuary of Nana. Can you help us? wrong? Is he mad? Oh, I'm sorry. You're a girl dragon, aren't you? How about I give you a cute name to apologize? How do you like... Whammy. Oh, perfect! <sighs> Whammy, I am oh so sorry to ask. This is urgent. Would you please take us to the portal in the sky above Oblivile? Okay, I'm on an airship. Well, an airship with a different name. Hello, Flammy. Winged Defender, first ride on Flammy. problem. Let's get on this dragon friend and go all the way to the place then, shall we? Go into the portal trying to not die. This is the sanctuary of mana. Huh? Guards that went into the sanctuary before us must have fought, destroyed each other. Sanctuary of Mana. Only gonna give me a flute or something so I can call Flammy whenever I want. Maybe after this section's done. That would make sense. At this rate, the people who. Once you reach level 38, you can use a class item. The special mana statue in the Sanctuary Mana switch from class 2 to class 3. The you see you find a treasure boxes are dropped by enemies. Go into class items and you plant them in a magic pot. First, are gonna get the mana sword. Hurry! Gotta find the sword. Get the sword. So I am stronger than the king. Well, I don't have... This is the, this is the special statue, but I don't have any question mark seeds. I mean, I could already level up if I had any, but I don't. Oh, I, I already leveled up. That's my mistake. I wonder if the cactus exists in the Sanctuary of Manor. I really doubt it. Why would he be here? But you never know. Yeah. 
So now we're all just level 38. So I don't know if it's um specific enemies that drop them, or a random chance from any enemy, or maybe bosses. Bosses might make more sense, but just because something makes more sense doesn't mean it's what's going on. Or if you can miss these seeds entirely and just have to do class 2 forever. Which also seems possible. No treasure boxes here. I didn't look at the other one. But I think I've got to go back there yet. I definitely wasn't at the top of the area when I got on Flammy. There's more to this area. Yeah, the game's telling me again, you're too high level for this bitch. Beastmen? It's a lesser known fact, but Beastmen, they don't use money. So, what to buy? I mean, I guess it's incentive enough to spend money, so you don't have to hear it. A new path appeared. Oh. Oh, way back. Cool. Guess that's how this dungeon's gonna work. Let's not, let's not pretend, it's, it's definitely a dungeon. There we go. See you later. No mistake. I'm stronger now. I was trying to kill it before it did the rocket punch. It wasn't quite fast enough. Bye-bye. Lots of enemies here. No cactus friend, though. Which means I'm not interested in your bullshit. I would like only to talk to cactus men. But it definitely seems like we don't get huge MP pools, which is good. Keeps the game balanced in a fashion. I mean, I'm leveling up quick, so I feel like I'm about the right level for this place, and I should level up again, at least with Kevin. I keep hearing little plippy ploppies and I keep thinking that's the cactus, but it isn't, it's just... It's it's just the way it is. Use the mana statue. In the Sanctuary of Mana to switch to a different class each time you change to the class, you can't become stronger. Level 38 or higher, ampler than a necessary class item. Use brute seeds to obtain class items. But I don't have any seeds, though. Uh... Who is switching classes? Right, let's see. Kevin? Try to switch your class. Okay. Let's switch class. Looks like you don't have the class item that you need to switch to a new class. Cheer up. We can try again later. Okay. So, there's probably going to be an easy way to tell that I have the right thing or not. Because I can't tell immediately, which means it isn't directly obvious. But it should hopefully become obvious soon enough what I need to do. So I'm not too worried about it. You know what I mean? Alright, let's keep fighting. King Rabbi.
Yes. Very good. looking for cactus friend which is why I'm running around these outside edges no worries for me okay so there might be a boss at the end of this because the enemies will be here somewhere just gotta find them Could also be a second stage to this area. Got floor two. Oh yeah. This is sort of manner. It. You have to feel the connection to the sword in your heart. Okay, Master Sword, let's do it. The shadow of the goddess of mana kevin true wielder of my sword goddess of mana where's fairy fairy was taken prisoner by the forces of evil what please you must go to her uh, evil where is fairy Goddess of Mana grants wishes once I get this sword, right? What is going on? Mana has all but disappeared from the world. Soon, the mana tree will wither and die, and I will be no more. There is nothing more that I can do for you all, except leave you with this. Chosen of the Mana Sword, as well as your companions. May the blessings of Mana be with you always. No! Wait! Obtain the Flammy Drum. 
to summon Flammy whenever I guess. Or whenever I want, I guess. Well, it's a bit of a shitter, isn't it? Find Ferdy. No! Villains! Fairy! Stay safe! <laughs> One down! <laughs> Next! Run! Huh? I'm just getting started! No worries, I'll find Fairy. I'll make sure she's fine. Is she back at the start of the dungeon? Yes, she is. Funny that. But I guess this time she actually will have been taken away by someone evil, so I've got to go stop them. Don't, don't, don't. It's going to get uh, Joanne and uh, Hawkeye to level 40. You know, just got to get them to that next level. I wish I knew what, like more specifically what, um, the question mark, question mark, question mark seed meant. Did you kill the Crimson Wizard? It's the Crimson Wizard? And the Dark Shine Knight. What's going on? Duran, I have failed. The enemy invaded our stronghold in Dragon's Maw unopposed. Our leader, Dragon Lord, is no more. This is the end. The wizard was no match for his foes. <sighs> I too disappear. The Dragon Lord's dark magic was all that sustained me. An already departed soul. Foes? Who are you talking about? Who took Fairy and defeated the Crimson Wizard? Tell me now! Farewell. Get it. Who are you? Who's the enemy? No, you can't just disappear. I swore I was going to defeat the Crimson Wizard myself. Now what am I supposed to do? Huh? Wait. Whoever defeated the Crimson Wizard has is... got to be way stronger than what we've faced so far. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna help Fairy, no matter what. Okay. I'll help you. I'll help you help her. But you've gotta do it my way, okay? You gotta do it my way. Which means slowly. And no rush. Like three more to get the mic the night market upgrade. We're basically at the point now where the difference between Joran and Hawkeye's XP is basically meaningless. It's only like 200 apart, which might as well be nothing. I know it just happened to work out this way, but it would be unlikely going forward that that would be the difference between one person getting a level up and the other person not. 
get too comfortable though. Get out of my way before I break you. Which is fine by me. Oh, hello, Belladonna. Belladonna! Did you take Fairy? It is over. All of it. Now his dark majesty can never be revived. Huh? My master, his dark majesty, sacrificed his life by using a forbidden spell to bring the dark stone from Mavolia to this realm in order to gain access to the sanctuary. Using the sword of mana, we would then revive him. Together we would turn this world into our new homeland of Mavolia. But a new enemy came and destroyed my master's course. Now, his soul is trapped forever in darkness. Lost to us. Just like the mana sword. We were utterly defeated. Malopio thought we might still be able to obtain the sword ourselves in order to bring Mavolia to this realm. But a world without his dark majesty. I could not bear the thought of that cowardly fool. Malokia's pettiness was an insult to his dark majesty's memory. So I destroyed him with my own hands. Don't worry. I intend to follow soon. His dark majesty was the reason for my existence. And this is farewell. I guess Seiko's murder was avenged in the end. We can't rest yet. If we don't take care of that enemy Belladonna mentioned, I'll be facing more senseless deaths. Just like Eagles. Belladonna may be out of the picture, but I'm still with you for the rest of this journey. <laughs> Ego wouldn't forgive me if I bowed out now. So, I'll make him proud. I understand now. I've, I've gained knowledge. Okay, so, I could be completely wrong, but here's how I think it works. Depending on who you pick as your main character, depends on what, like, person wins this fight. So because I've picked Kevin, Gormond, the person in charge of sending me on this journey, is the person who won. If I was playing as Juran, the Crimson Wizard would have won, and if I was playing as Hawkeye, Belladonna would have won. I'm guessing and I've just sort of extrapolated this in my mind, that Charlotte would have Gormond win as well, Reese would have Belladonna win as well, and uh, what is her other name? I don't remember her name. But she's from Alpena. Um, would have the Crimson Wizard win as well. So you could play through the game three different times and get three different outcomes based on who your main character is, I think. So let's go say, uh, let's go say hello to Gormond. After we kill some enemies and level up to level 40. I'll take point and look from here to you. Stronger than you think. Next, run. Let's just get started. Alright, a couple more. Just a couple more. to go. I'm not interested about the damage, it doesn't, doesn't bother me. That's all I want to do. Cool. 
So we're all level 40 now, so let's go. Say hello to Gormor. My main jester friend. You know, I'm glad win anyway, because he's obviously the best. Alright, mate. to Barolia Palace. His Majesty is awaiting you and your companions. What? No! Stop! Ah, too late! Ah! Uh, everyone was probably waiting for you to get the sword for them. That's why they took Fairy hostage. You know this is a trap, right? It's gotta be. I know. But I have to go. Have to rescue Fairy. Trap or not. Cannot abandon her. The king is in Ferolia Palace, too. I won't run. We'll defeat Gormund. And King. And get back Fairy. Won't lose. Okay, no problem. Right, let's use our seeds first. Just to see what we get. Oh. Your one is barely moving the needle at all. Nine might though. Yeah, so I think I think like thirty or twenty more will get the get it over the line. Okay, right. You have to fall. Use the drum. So get on the items list and get the drum on the. Next to the. The flute. Flanny. Hello, mate. Okay, so can I just... I can just fly around when I want. Alright, so... I can go to Flowerberg Dior, Free City Maya. Any areas I can land with Maya. Right. Crosspot Fields, Snow Hamlet, Jad Stronghold, Lakeside Town, Lauren, Palaport, Desert Capital, Naval Fortress, Oasis of Dean. Why can't I land at the Celestial Peak? It makes no sense. I'm just wondering if there's anywhere only I could get with flying. It doesn't appear to be the case. Okay, so I've got to go to Levant then. What is this? What? This isn't something you said I could land at. I guess I've got, actually got to pay attention to the beams of light then. Okay. Yeah, some of these are a bit weird. The Moonlight Town I get. Chart Moon Tower I don't get. Merchant Town by so I get. Maybe I can land there. Well. Hello Port. Shimmering Ruin. Yeah, a lot of these places okay, well. Either way, I want to go here so I can then go back onto the top of the mountain and see what I've missed.
If anything, maybe I missed nothing, but it's worth checking. Yeah, I missed one treasure box. Which I imagine would be right at the top. <laughs> you could never beat us! Fight me, fine. Thought maybe I could get away with it. Seems like one charge attack always does it. I wonder if the other ones are a chance or they just have to do a certain amount of damage before it works. Can I call the jump? Yeah, I can use the jump from anywhere. any better equipment you can get or maybe the shops are updated now or maybe they will update later This is where I got to. I believe just up there. But I didn't actually get to look around because the game took me out of the cutscene. One talisman. It must be pretty good since I had to go back to get it. Seven and twelve. It is just better. going to hide my boy Cactus up here because he's out of the way. Maybe not. <gasps> hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to find him other, way other places then. Night time. I'm going to do what I did in Dragon Quest and just go around all the places that I think I can go. I mean, I've played for 11 hours. They surely can't still be locking me off of content just because they feel like it. Yeah, for example, the Shimmering Ruins. What's here? This might be like a future dungeon I end up going to, but I don't know that. Some strange force is keeping it shut. Plot progression. Alright, fine. I'll do what the game wants me to do. Fine. 
I know I've, I know I've given up easily, but I, I feel like that's just going to be how the game is. It's just going to tell me no. Stop doing this shit. Oh, now I've been there, though. It does know that it exists. Yeah, my feeling is I'm going to end up going to all of these places at some point, so I might as well just go where the game wants me to. I like that for Olia. Yes, please. Take me there. Ferolia, Beast Kingdom. Landing in the area with much joy in my heart. There's no way that I can be beaten. Barry's in trouble. Quick! I won't let Gormon do anything to Barry. Hey, are we fighting in here? We're fighting in here. Right, there's seven treasures in Ferolia. I'm stronger now. There's a way to lower this gate somehow. Okay. No, it's a for only a one. Got to get in from that side, which means I've got to go out from that area. Not until next time. Okay, which means I've got to go. If that room's no good, there's no switch on the wall. No. Oh. Then I've got to go out here and then do the loopy loop round. Okay, no problem. Might look for chests and things. Okay, so out of here, then out of the bottom one, which is not where the game wants me to go, which means it must be correct. You guys ain't shit. It's a chocolate. Okay, so now we'll go over here and get this green box here. Over here and open this special item. Go over here and get this one. Watch out for the enemy. But moving forward, there's a chance that any one of these could drop question mark seeds. And they could give me a class item. I want to go out the bottom. This will lead to the treasure that I'm seeking. Also, for the the, the, the bitrate situation on YouTube is a bit crap. Because I'm only putting it to an 80p. It does not look that, like that in the raw file. This is YouTube doing it. Okay, so let's go in here. In the chest room, it does. Another golden item seed. Brilliant. Okay. Right, so now we want to go up the top way because it's not the right way, so it must be something interesting. Wouldn't be here if it wasn't something good. Like another treasure. It's locked. 5,800 Luca. I'm very rich. I just pressed Y as if it was Final Fantasy, and it's definitely not. No cactus 
else is hiding here. Right. You have the max limit of this already. Right? Apparently I've already opened a lot of these boxes. Right, how do I get out of there? From there, which means I go there. Okay, right. I see. I have knowledge. I mean, it's not hard. You just go everywhere the game doesn't want you to go, and then you'll be fine. got this treasure. That's what's confusing me right now. Fantastic. This apparently lets me go the right way. Hmm. That's the right way, then I want to go the wrong way. How do I go the wrong way from here? No, I feel like I've accidentally gone correct, so I need to go wrong. So walk out the way I came, then go left and go the way I came again. And then there are two I can go in, including this one. Oh, that's okay, that's the end end, but it's blocked off. Right, I see, okay. There is only really one way I can go. It's just going to put me back over there at some point. Okay. So let's try not to reinvent the wheel. We already know where we're going. We just have to do it. Alright, so... With that said and done... We'll go over here. Through here. I don't need to save. Let's go and fight anything that appears in this room, which is, I thought was just likely, but apparently not. Aha! Now this puts me over here, which is good. Also wrong, but it's good. It's good that it's wrong. Cyclone Claw. Only plus two, plus two, but I'll take it. chest which is the final one which is a red moon horn which is 713 so it's better again okay then let us proceed oh yeah right so I've got all the chests yes so let's go speak to Gormon in the in the throne room. See what he has to say. Hello, you friend. Certainly took your time. If you wish to save your companion, hand over the sword of mana. 
You call yourself king? Animal! <laughs> Pitiful. I have no time to play with pups. Do what you will. Stop! Face me! Oh, once we have the sword, the beastmen are unnecessary. Do what you will, sire. Ah, what a simpleton. To think that the king has no interest in this fantastic sword. If you wish to save Fairy, give me the sword like good children. But don't make any sudden movements or I'll eat her up. can't use the sword need a pure heart sword chose me it's mine the sword of mana reflects the heart of its wielder a sword of good can be corrupted Evil and good are two parts of the same whole. Indeed, was this sword even meant to be good in the first place? I once followed his eminence, Wendell's Priest of Light. He could not save the world with all his goodness. The world is still dark, still painful, still full of hate. Existence is the same thing as suffering. Our master, the Masked Mage, will use the Sword of Mana to release the world from the suffering of life, through death itself. Yes! Oh, joyous day! Now the Mana Sword belongs to the Master of Mirage Towers! <laughs> We cannot waste any more time here. We must release the Benevodons from the Mana Stones with the Sword of Mana. I will return first and report to the Masked Mage. <laughs> Soon, the Benevodons will destroy the people of this world. <laughs> oh, the souls I shall consume. <laughs> My mouth is already I must save some room in my stomach, so I will refrain from devouring you three. Yet. Farewell for now. <laughs> Sorry. You lost the sword because of me. Fairy, you okay? Don't say that. Not your fault. Besides, they stole the sword. They're releasing Benevodons. What what should we do? Oh no! It started already! Quick! Let me back inside you! I'll show you what's happening to the
each one before they join and combine their power, the world might yet be saved. Let's go to the Mana Stones. Okay. Defeat the Benevidons. Oh, oh, is that all? Just defeat the Benevidons, mate. I don't even know what a Benevidon is. I'm just going to get out to a place where I can, uh, leave. How do I get out though? You seem to think I can just get out from here. But I don't see how I would. Unless I can jump over this now that I can get on top of this. There we go, yeah. Right. Okay. Let's defeat the Benevidons then. I guess they're going to take me to the nearest one, which is the one in the tower. I'm already here. I just call Flammy, but I'm already I'm already on the run. Let's go. towards the place. I don't know if there's a specific order I'm supposed to do them in or is any order is fine. My imagining is that um, as you go they'll get stronger because you're taking more time to kill each one. So the eighth one is always the strongest one no matter which one it is. Is, is how I'd imagine it would work. Again, if I was coding it, that's probably how I'd do it, but I don't know how the game was written back in the day. Okay. Well. I'll see you guys next time when we see if we can do the Chart Moon Tower and defeat the Benevidons. See you then. Goodbye.